You want to go live. Going live, especially after you've been creating and connecting with your audience, is the best way to start promoting your digital product. Now, since then, I've taken a lot of my lives from TikTok and repurposed them to YouTube, but you can still see where I was going live consistently as much as I could on that platform for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I just wanted to show you guys that, that I'm not just talking this and telling you guys to do something that I haven't done myself. It's a great way to start getting the word out faster and to engage with your people and engage with your audience and start spreading the word about your ebook once you finally finish it. Now, I want you to understand one of the main reasons that you're going live is to do a Q&A because you're already teaching and educating everybody in your content. So you wanna answer their questions when you go live. Now, when you go live, be kind of strategic. Don't be all over the place and don't be brawl. Pick a title or a subject or a piece of something to talk about that's within your ebook and make that the title of your live and only answer questions pertaining to that. Now, the next step is to actually create the ebook and this part is very, very simple. Now, when you're creating this ebook, don't worry about silly or crazy things like how many pages should I have? What colors, what font should they be? None of that stuff don't matter. When I tell you guys my first ebook, when I look at it today, it looks horrible as far as the graphics and the fonts. I was all over the place. I wasn't trying to brand, but the information in that ebook, when I tell you those people were reaching out to me and telling me that, man, I learned so much. Thank you, Ronnie. I got a lot of reviews and good testimonials from that ebook because when the people read my ebook, they learned what they paid to learn. The content in my ebook outweighed all the flaws and aesthetics of the ebook itself. So if you're going to be worrying about anything that entails creating a digital product or an ebook, the only thing you need to worry about is making sure that you're delivering the promise and teaching the people what they signed up and gave you their hard earned money to learn. Now, when you're starting to create your ebook, I'm going to make it very, very simple. But the first thing you want to do is what I highly suggest everybody starting out, whatever you're teaching in your ebook, break it down in steps. And when people see things in steps, it makes whatever you're teaching seem a whole lot more simple. The less steps, the better. But if it's a large amount of steps, don't worry about it. As long as there's numbers and a step by step guide, it's better than a whole bunch of jumbled up information. So break whatever you're teaching down in steps. Now, right now, I'm just is right here on Google Gemini. If you're not good with this, you can use Chat GPT or any AI software to help you do this. But this is going to be the foundation of your ebook. And all I'm doing is I'm taking this information and I'm transferring it into Canva, which we're going to use to create your ebook in a second. I'm taking this information and I transfer it into Canva. Now, the previous part right here is an outline, but once you have your outline with some bullet points, all you have to do is now just add on and allow collaborate to them. For example, I just picked number six, edit and revise. And this is talking about how to create an ebook in seven steps. So I said, break down and elaborate on number six and explain in four to six paragraphs. And it's polishing your prose right here. And it breaks it down and it breaks it down even further. And you can keep going for as long as you want with this, but you want to do it for each part. And as you're receiving this information, we're just taking it and putting it into our ebook. From there, we're going to do this in Canva. Canva is your best friend. Canva has a lot of templates that you can use to get you started. So if you're not tech savvy, if you're not very good at graphics and aesthetics on doing that part of it, all you have to do is just use their templates and, and milk the templates dry until you learn how to do it yourself. But all you have to do is just go over here to something like templates is going to bring this up. So you can put in something like food recipes and then click on healthy food recipes and it's going to show you all those templates to get you started with your ebook. Now, once you pick your template, you can come in and start tweaking it to your liking and what makes sense to you and your audience and the subject matter of what you're teaching in that ebook. You can just click on anything and highlight it, change the wording, change the fonts. Don't waste your lot of time trying to be perfect. I've learned through my experience, I'm the only one who really cares about that stuff. The people are only coming for the sauce. They're coming for the meat. They're coming for the information. So don't waste your time on irrelevant stuff. Pick something, put all your information in it so we can make some money from it. Now, a few things I do want to say that you do want to add into your ebook if you didn't know. You want to actually have a table of contents. 
that's going to help people sift through your ebook and come back to it and reference things a whole lot faster. And I highly recommend that you have a cover photo for your ebook. That could be something that you can use when you're promoting it online and it will have a good first impression after the people purchase it. Now, as promised, I told you I'd show you my ebook that helped make me my first four figures, five figures and makes consistent six figures every single year. And it was called the Affiliate Income Network System, which was half of another ebook called The Seven Steps to Quit Your Job This Year. Now, as you can see, my cover was very simple, very clean. I didn't put a lot of effort into it and spend a lot of time trying to make it perfect. But one thing is I had the table of contents and this is all a template, you guys. Only thing I did was just put a cool picture in the background and some elements. Another cool thing you would probably want to add in your ebook is a welcome. Let people know who you are, what to expect from this ebook and actually thanking them for making a purchase. But the most biggest thing that helped me make a lot of money from this ebook, you guys, was me spreading and putting my affiliate links in this product. All you have to do is hyperlink text or images in this ebook. And when the people purchase it and download it and they're viewing it, they can click it and it will redirect them to other products or services that I might have in my business. And this is very simple to do, you guys. All you got to do is just click this. And when it pops up, you'll see something like this pop up and you just add your link in here, enter a link or search into your link, and then you're gonna press enter and then done. Now, if you really wanna see what this ebook looks like, it is still available for purchase. You can go to raidtheinternet.com or just click on the first link down below this YouTube video.